I'm Rick and I'd like to welcome you to iScan by Autoland. In today's video, we're going to perform a basic charging system test. This test can be performed on almost any modern internal combustion engine equipped vehicle. The alternator is the heart of your electrical system and a fault with it can cause many different types of system malfunctions, especially in today's computer heavy vehicles. To perform a charging system test, you'll need a DVOM with test leads and varying test probes, including a high current amp clamp. We're going to perform three basic tests to confirm the alternator is outputting the correct voltage and amperage. Before testing the charging system on any vehicle, make sure that battery is fully charged. We've got 12.8 volts on our subject vehicle, which is a good reading. First, we'll test charging system voltage. Set your DVOM to DC volts. Charging system voltage will vary depending on the vehicle and system load, so always check the most current repair information for the vehicle you are working on. We normally see charging system output 1 to 2 volts above battery voltage, so expect to see 13.6 to 14.6 volts. Some vehicles will charge at a higher voltage when needed, so don't fret if you see 15 volts or more. Just confirm system operation using your repair information. Connect the positive lead of the DVOM to the battery cable at the alternator. In this case, we're going to grab the cable at its junction. Next, connect the negative lead of the DVOM to the negative battery terminal. Start and idle the vehicle. Be sure the exhaust is properly ventilated. The charging system is outputting 14.8 volts. Now let's turn on a few loads and see what happens. Headlights, blower motor, and radio on. Thanks. Charging system voltage now is about 14.5 volts. All seems well. Okay, turn the engine off. Next, let's check the charging system for AC voltage. This is a quick way to test the diodes in the alternator. We'll set the DVOM to AC volts this time and keep it connected as you had before. Positive lead to the battery cable at the alternator and negative test lead to the negative battery terminal. You'll want to see no more than 0.5 volts AC. Let's start and idle the vehicle. Looks like we have less than 0.1 AC volts, which is within spec. Okay, let's turn it off. Next up comes a true test of an alternator. You can have good charging system voltage and have poor amperage output, so the battery will not take that charge and a vehicle electrical systems could malfunction. Modern day alternators usually have a rating of 90 to 150 amps. At idle, they'll normally output anywhere from 30 to 50 amps, then at higher engine RPMs and load up to the maximum rating. To measure alternator current, you'll need the high current probe and your DVOM. You're going to connect your probe to your DVOM. Set the DVOM on DC volts and zero the probe. Next, clamp the probe around the battery cable at the alternator. Start and idle the vehicle. The alternator on our subject is rated at 150 amps. Here, it's outputting about 60. Now let's raise engine RPM to 2500 and add a load. The alternator on our subject vehicle is now outputting 150 amps. Now remember, bad connections, a weak battery, and a bad belt tensioner can all cause charging system issues. So start with the basics, and thanks for watching. 